Okay, I want to talk to you about dividing fractions. Now, the proper way to divide fractions is to multiply by the reciprocal, okay? What is the reciprocal? The reciprocal of a number, this is proper math speak, is the number by which it's multiplied by to give an answer of one. So if I say to you, let me get the right pen here. Where's my pen gone? If I say to you five, how would, what would I multiply five by to get one? I would multiply five by one over five and that will give me an answer of one, okay? So that's the technical speak for what is a reciprocal. A reciprocal of a number is the number by which it's multiplied with to give an answer of one. So what is a reciprocal? It's one over the number that you have. So if I write five, I must write it as a fraction because I want to turn it over. So it's five over one because five over one and five are the same thing. So the reciprocal would be one over five. Okay, this is the reciprocal of five. So this is easy when you've just got a number, but what happens if you've got like say three fifths? What is the reciprocal of three-fifths? The easy way to do this is to flip it. So the three-fifths, the reciprocal, okay, will be five over three. So when you divide fractions, what you have to do is you have to multiply by the reciprocal. But now it's hard to remember multiply by the reciprocal, so I like to say keep, change, flip. Okay, so if you look on my example here, I have a half divided by 1 over 6. Okay, and it says keep. So we keep the half, we turn the divide into multiply, and we flip the 1 over 6 to become 6 over 1. Okay, so it goes keep, change, flip. So we kept the first fraction, we changed the divide to multiply and we flipped. So we are now, when we did the flip, multiplying by the reciprocal. So if you look at this, I now have a half times six over one. So you can either do this by following the fraction rules. When you have a sum like this, you must multiply across, okay? So one times six, you multiply the numerators, one times six is six, and then you multiply across the bottom, which are the denominators. Two times one is two. So I end up with six over two, and six divided by two is three. Remember, you can also, if I take this sum over here, a half times six over one, and I say a half times six over one, instead of multiplying first, I can simplify first. So first I did multiply and then simplify, now I'm doing simplify and then multiply. So I look on the top, I've got a one and a six, and on the bottom I've got a two and a one. I want to divide the numbers on the top and on the bottom by the same number. So I'm going to divide the top by two, and I'm going to divide the bottom by two. So two divided by two is one, six divided by two is three, and then I say one times three is three, because those are my numerators, and one times one is one, because those are my denominators, which is three. So you can see I came to the same answer, but I went first multiply or simplify, or first simplify and then multiply. You can choose which one you wanna do. So now I wanna show you some examples of how to divide fractions using the 50-50. So, here is the 50-50, and if you look, I've got question 1, question 6, 11, 16, 21, 26, 31, 36, and 45 and 50. So if one of these was confusing for you, just go and fast forward the video till you get there. Okay, so if we go here, my first sum says 3 over 1 divided by 7 over 2. Okay, so we keep the first number, 3 over 1. So we're going to go, remember, let me write it here so that we can remember. Keep, change, flip, okay? Or if you prefer, multiply by the, I'm going to run out of space, reciprocal. 
Okay, so whichever you prefer to remember, keep change flip or multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm going to keep the first number, I'm going to change, divide to multiply, and I'm going to flip the last fraction because when I flip it, I'm getting the reciprocal. So now, instead of 7 over 2, I've got 2 over 7. So now I've got a fraction multiplication sum, and when you have a fraction multiplication sum, you multiply the numbers across the top, 6, 3 times 2 is 6, you multiply across the bottom, it's 7. So this is question 1. Then if we look at question number 6, okay, question number 6 says 17 over 23, divided by a half. We're going to multiply by the reciprocal, so keep the first number, change, divide to multiply, and flip the last number. And now all of these look like prime numbers, so I'm going to multiply across because I can't simplify. 17 times 2 is 34 over 23. Now, in algebra, we'll leave it like this, but in grade 8 maths, we're supposed to change it. So we say, how many times does 23 go into 34? It goes in there once, and the remainder is 11. So my answer is 1 and 11 over 23. Okay, let's look at number 11. Number 11 says 3 over 15 divided by 2 over 35. So what we're going to do here is we're going to keep the first number, 3 over 15. We're going to change divide to multiply. And we're going to multiply by the reciprocal, which is 35 over 2. Because look, 2 over 35, if we flip it over, it becomes 35 over 2. Now, these are big numbers to multiply, so I want to simplify first. So I look on the top, 3 goes into 15 five times. So 3 goes into 3 one time, and 3 goes into 15 five times. So I've divided the top and the bottom by the same number. Okay, now I want to go again. I've got a 35 and a 5, so I'm going to divide the bottom by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. And I'm going to divide the top by 5. 35 divided by 5 is 7. So I'm left with 7 over 2, which I can simplify. 2 times 3 is 6, so 2 goes into 7 3 times, remainder 1, and I put the remainder over my denominator. Then if we look at number 16, number 16 says 13 over 60 divided by 11 over 12. Okay, so if we look at this sum, we're going to keep the first fraction, 13 over 60. To multiply by the reciprocal, we change divide to multiply and we turn the fraction over as 12 over 11. Now, 13 doesn't go into 60, but 12 goes into 60. 12 divided by 12 is 1. 60 divided by 12 is 5. So now I've got on my top here, if I multiply across, I've got 13 times 1 is 13. And on the bottom, I've got 5 times 11. So I've got 13 over 55. Okay. Now you can see I've run out of space. So I'm going to rub these out. Okay, and then I'm going to do the second set in a different color because I can. So remember, we're going to go keep, change, flip. Okay, so let's look at number 21. Number 21 is 2 thirds divided by 8 ninths. Okay, so we're going to keep the 2 thirds. And we're going to change divide to multiply, and we will multiply by the reciprocal. So now I look for common factors on the top and the bottom. So if I divide 2 by 2, I get 1. If I divide 8 by 2, I get 4. So whatever you do to the top, you do to the bottom. So now I'm going to divide the bottom by 3, and I get 1. And I divide the 9 by 3, and I get 3. So now I've got 1 times 3 over 1 times 4, which is 3 over 4. Then if we look at number 26, it says 5 over 16 divided by 25 over 
64. So we keep the first fraction, 5 over 16. We change divide to multiply and we flip the last fraction to become 64 over 25. And then we want to simplify before we multiply. So to simplify before we multiply, we have to divide the top and the bottom by the same number. So we can only do this because we're multiplying, remember? You can only simplify like this when you multiply. So 5 divided by 5 is 1. 25 divided by 5 is 5. And then I can see 16 and 64. I know 2 goes into both of them, and I know 4 goes into both of them. 16 divided by 4 is 4. 64 divided by 4 is 16. And then if I look again, 4 also goes into 16. So 4 goes into 4 once. 4 goes into 16 four times. So now after all of my simplification, I've got 1 times 4 on the top, which is 4, and 1 times 5 on the bottom, which is 5. Okay, so you can see they're getting a little bit harder, but because the 50-50 guy is really clever, then all of the fractions are actually quite a lot easier. So now I've got here 16 over 20 divided by 40 over 35. So 16 over 20, keep it, change divide to multiply, flip the last fraction to be 35 over 40. So let's have a look here. 16 over 20, 4 goes in here 4 times and 4 goes in here 5 times. And then if I look on the top on the bottom again, 4 goes into 4 once and 4 goes into 40 10 times. And then I've got a 35 and a 5. 5 goes into 5 once and into 35 7 times. So this was 1, this was 1, 1 times 7 is 7, 1 times 10 is 10. And then here's number 36, 100 over 36 divided by 600 over 81. My goodness, these numbers look awful big. Do you think we can cope? I think we can cope. Let's go 100 over 36. We keep the first fraction. We change divide to multiply. And we flip the last fraction, 81 over 600. Okay. So I'm going to say, oh, look, 100 on the top and 600 on the bottom. I can divide the top by 100. So 100 divided by 100 is 1. 600 divided by 100 is 6. Okay, so what else have we got here? I can see 36 and 81, and I know 9 4s are 36. So I'm going to divide this by 9 and get 4, and I'm going to divide this by 9 and get 9. So now I've got 9, 1 times 9, I've got 9 over 6 times 4, which is 24. But now if I look at this, 3 goes into 24, so 9 divided by 3 is 3, 24 divided by 3 is 8, so this is actually 3 eighths if we simplify it. Okay, so now we're just left with number 45 and number 50. Okay, so let's choose another color pen again because that's the best part. Okay, let's look at number 45. Number 45 says... 11 divided by 33 over 51. Okay, so 11 is not a fraction, so let's write 11 as a fraction. We write it as 11 over 1, because anything divided by 1 stays the same. So I'm going to keep the first fraction, and then I'm going to change divide to multiply, and then I'm going to flip the last fraction, 51 over 33. So 11 and 33, if you know your 11 times table, 11 divided by 11 is 1. 33 divided by 11 is 3. So then I've got 51 over 3. I need to simplify this, so let me do a quick sum here. 3 goes into 51. 3 goes into 5 once. Remainder 2. 5 minus 2 is 3. Bring down the 1. Does 3 go into 5 once? Yes, it does. And why did I put here minus 2? Look what I've done. This was silly. Look, I've done something silly here. Let's rub it out. 3 goes into 5 once, 
and 3 times 1 is 3, yes? So 5 minus 3 is 2, and then I'm going to bring down the 1, 3 goes into 21, 7 times, 7 threes are 21, my division is finished, so my answer for 51 over 3, my final answer will be 17, okay? And then let's look at number 50. Now number 50 is breaking all the rules, yes, because we've got mixed numbers. You may not do anything with fractions with mixed numbers. You must always convert them to improper fractions. So I'm going to multiply the denominator by the whole number. 7 times 6 is 42. And then I'm going to add the 3. So 42 plus 3 is 45. And we keep the denominator, because remember we go multiply, add, keep the denominator, we go mad. We've got 45 over 7. Now we're going to divide it by, let's go mad again. 14 times 1 is 14, plus 1 is 15. Multiply, add, keep the denominator. Okay, so we've still got a division fraction. We want to change it into a multiplication fraction. So we keep the first fraction. We change divide to multiply and we flip over the second fraction so that we are multiplying by the reciprocal. So 7 goes into 7 one time, 7 goes into 14 two times, 5 goes into 15 three times, 5 goes into 45 nine times. But look, I've got 3 and 9, so 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 9 three times. So what am I left with on the top? I'm left with 3 times 2, which is 6, over 1, so my answer is 6. And there we go. We have an example of all of the 50-50s.